Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 7 for a step by step guide to learn Angular. So, in the previous video, uh, we checked about uh, basic routing and uh, we, ch we studied about uh, wildcard route and uh, we checked about the lazy loading and uh, in this video we will see like how we can get the route information in our component so if you are directly coming to this video i will recommend you to watch previous video first and uh, then you can come to this video so this is the application we are going to develop in this complete video series and for uh, that we uh, in the previous video we added uh, routes for this application and now let's see how we can get the route information in the component so let's open the visual code so uh, before we begin how we can get the information in the component uh, uh, this is the one common interview questions uh, we get generally gets in the interview like uh, what is the benefit of lazy loading so this is our uh, home component and inside that we are lazy loaded our dashboard module and to do module so benefit is like uh, we did not import this to module in our app module so whenever our application gets load that module is not getting loaded so it will get loaded once the path is that route is this one so this improves our performance in the big application so generally people make a mistake like uh, they add this lazy loading here and uh, then they import that module in app module so if you are doing that so that's not uh, lazy loading so you just make sure you are not uh, adding your feature module that lazy loaded module in your app module so that's for uh, lazy loading now let's talk about how we can get the information in the component so for that uh, 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 what i'm going to do is in the our login component i'm just going to add one button input type button and uh, we'll use login and what i what i'm doing is whenever user clicks on this login i just want to navigate my user to home component so let's give method name for now login so this is a login method we defined in the our component html so we must have that method in our component class so let's open login component.ts and add the class here So this is our login method and uh, the return type is void because I'm not going to return anything from this method and uh, let's save this changes. So now what I want is uh, whenever uh, my user clicks on login, I want to send some information from my login component to my home component. So for that we need to import a router class so let's inject a router class in our constructor so let's define private router router and let's see if visual code is helping me for import yeah so we edit this and now in my click method login click method let's see this dot router dot i can see this property so i am going to uh, this methods so i am going to use this navigate method and where i want to navigate i want to navigate to my home component so let's add home here and uh, what i want to do is i want to pass some information like name is 
Tapan Tube. So we are done with whenever user clicks on login, we are navigating to our home component as we are sending this information along with navigation. So that's for navigation. Now let's open our how we can retrieve that information. For that, we need to open our home component. So this is our home component. So first, uh, let's add the constructor here. And uh, for getting uh, route information, we have to use the activated route class. So let's use this. Activated route and this should be small a and uh, Let's save this. So now here uh, we are having uh, two ways to get the route information. So one is uh, activated route dot uh, snapshot dot param map dot get. And in the get, what we have to do, uh, we have to give our key so key is our name so let's give name here and i am going to print this in the browser console so let's set console.log and save this and another way is to get this information using a observable so let's see that way also so let's copy and paste this and uh, let's remove this code and we have this param map and there we can see that this is observable so we can subscribe to that observable and uh, if you are not understanding about observable, so uh, we will discuss that in the upcoming sessions. So for now, you can use this code. And uh, I'm going to remove this console lock here. And I will add it here inside this subscribe console dot log then item dot get and our get is keys name and to identify both uh, let's say concrete some a string here so I'm going to use backtick here and Now let's uh, here I'm saying like uh, from a snapshot and similarly here I will add like from uh, Param map, okay. So let's say dollar from and save this. So now our application is in compile mode. So now let's open our browser. So now we can see our uh, that uh, login button. So let's click it and uh, it should uh, navigate to our home component. So let's click 
yeah so i i navigated to my home component and let's uh, verify the message in the console so open the developer tool you can click on your, your keyboard f12 and go to console and here you can see that from snapshot tapan dubey and from param web tapan dubey so now the question is uh, what is the difference between this snapshot and this observable way so the difference is if uh, in the same component if your url is going to change then the recommended way is use this param map this observable way but you are you are in the component you are not going to change your url so your uh, recommended way is use a snapshot so quick recap uh, so we checked in this video like uh, benefits of uh, lazy loading so this is a one common interview question and uh, we uh, know like how we can pass the information from one component we can use that uh, param map and snapshot and then uh, what is the difference between param map and snapshot so this is the three common interview questions uh we generally get asked in the interview so in the next video we will uh, add the bootstrap to our uh, uh, application and we will work on our ui part and we will try to make our uh, application close to our mockup thank you for watching